In the past two weeks, the number of cases of COVID-19 outside China has increased 13-fold. And the number of affected countries has tripled. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. Now the Democrats are politicizing the coronavirus. Coronavirus. And this is their new hoax. 40 million people have been ordered to stay at home, effective right now. What it means, people cannot leave their homes here for at least a month, except for a century. There is no cure, there is no vaccine. But if we all do our part and simply stay home, we have a shot. Masks are not 100% protected. However, they certainly are better than not wearing a mask, both to prevent you if you happen to be a person who maybe feels well but has an asymptomatic infection that you don't even know about. I just don't want to wear one myself. It's a recommendation. They recommend it. Uh, I'm feeling good. I just don't want to be doing it. Are you going to allow the government to tell you you have to wear a mask? No. To muffle people to put masks on our face. And I'm not doing it because I woke up in a free country. <coughs> I'm in the intensive care unit. Well, we do have significant shortages in drugs and also in the PPE. All we do is hear that, can you get some more? Well, it's not, I don't think it's hoarding. I think it's maybe worse. We need the tools and the resources to do our job, and we don't have them. Please do not put your families at risk. It is not wicked. Put your mask on. Millions, as you witnessed, who are scared right now. What do you say to Americans who are watching you right now who are scared? Uh, I say that you're a terrible reporter. That's what I say. Donald Trump is defending his tweet that called citizens to liberate Michigan. So what are you saying to the scientists and those who encourage you to keep apart and wear a mask? Uh, they're fear mongers because they don't know. This is basically well, we're trying to get rid of our tyrannical governor. I know that people are angry, and that's okay. And if you want to take it out and send it my way, makes you feel better, that's fine. Our very freedoms that so many people fought and died for are being threatened right now. Scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your response to this crisis? I'd rate it a 10. Stand back and stand by of two militia groups who are preparing to kidnap and possibly kill me.